Hello, First Lutheran Church. My name is Jordan Stone, and I am the Care and Health Coordinator at the church. Um, one of the areas of my ministry is mental health ministry, making sure that people are taken care of um, both mentally and spiritually as well. So I had the opportunity to ask a few people what they do and what resources they are looking to during this time that's really stressful and very scary. So here's what they had to say. Hello, I'm Janet Kadums, the CEO of the Helpline Center, and I just want to let you know about a great partnership we have with Avera. If you need to talk to a counselor right away, you just have to dial 211, and we have a direct connection to Avera Behavioral Health, and we can connect you with a counselor to help you through whatever you're struggling with. In this stressful time for all of us, the Helpline Center is here. Please call 211 if you need more resources or if you just need to talk. We're here for you. Hi, I'm Kim from Renew Counseling Services. I'm here to tell you that there are many emotions and feelings we are all experiencing these days with so many changes in our lives. We at Renew want you to know that you don't have to go through it alone. We are here to help strengthen, change, and renew you and your family if there is a need. Please give us a call or contact First Lutheran Church to have them help you identify where we can help you. Hi everybody, uh, my name is Mallory Klocek and I am the Ending the Science Coordinator for NAMI South Dakota. Um, I hope everybody is staying safe and um, at home, uh, cozying up to uh, their favorite, hopefully animal, or cozying up to their favorite TV show. Um, one thing that I do to stay mentally well during this uh, pandemic is I play with my dog Lola over here. Um, I take her for walks and we just enjoy snuggles and we hang out together. And then um, I also journal and I try to do some physical activity each and every day to kind of get my heart rate up too. Just an update for all of you, uh, the NAMI walk that we do in May and also the Suicide Prevention Step Forward run that's held in June will both be virtual events this year and you can find that information on our website. I know that during this pandemic time, uh, you could potentially be feeling lonely and isolated. Um, you might be dealing with mental health things that you've never experienced before. Maybe if you already deal with mental health, uh, the things that you deal with are heightened at this time. Um, it's scary and things are unknown and that is completely understandable. And we want you to know that we are here for you as the church. You can reach out to us at any time and we will do our best to help you or get you connected to the correct resources. And any of the resources that were mentioned in these videos, um, you can find those on our website at flcsf.org. Um, and we pray for you every day. And I would like to end this video with a prayer. Holy and gracious God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the breath in our lungs that we can use to praise your holy and precious name. God, we ask for your guidance and your wisdom, your peace and your comfort. Uh, God, we pray for those who are feeling isolated or lonely or dealing with depression and anxiety or any other mental illness during this time. Uh, God, I pray that we can turn to you and we can turn to our healthy coping skills as we deal with all of these things. We ask that no matter what we're doing or where we're at, that our glory is always given back to you. In your name we pray. Amen. Thanks guys and have a great day.